I've competed in a lot of different things, from hockey to triathlons to archery contests. This is the kind of thing I want to do. I cannot wait to conquer this mountain. This is Man versus Bear. Humans, my name is Brandon Tierney, and I want to welcome you to Bear Mountain, Utah. With me today is Casey Anderson. Casey's a renowned expert in bear biology and has unique insight into bear behavior. All right, Bradley, let's start with you. Now, it remains to be seen how good you're gonna do out here, but the beard, it's a good start. You fit in well here on the mountain. We trim that thing once a week. How do we handle that? I actually trimmed it just before this for an archery competition, but it'll be back down to here by the end of the year. All right. So you're an archer? I am. So you spent some time out in the woods? A little bit, but I've never seen a bear in real life, and this is gonna be the first time, and I'm super excited for it. Just do me a favor. If this guy gets a little rambunctious, fire one at him, will you? All right. <laughs> All right? I'm quick. <laughs> Your first challenge is called King of the Mountain. At King of the Mountain, you'll be standing on a platform 22 feet above water. Bart will be staring you down from across the water. Bradley, you're up first. Yeah. All right, let's this. hit it. Here we go. First challenge, go. All right, here's a look at Bradley. He's a seasoned hunter, very athletic. He's also able to flash a pretty good sense of humor, which could serve him well, because if you're not laughing up there, you might be crying. <laughs> oh, I think this is going to be fun. As a society, I think we're kind of soft, so I'm constantly looking for harder and harder ways to challenge myself, from hockey to triathlons to archery contests. And when all said and done, at the end of the day, I'm walking away a winner. All right, Bard, me and you, let's do this. And remember, every two seconds is a point. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens when that rope gets tight. It's about uh, Bradley, there. Uh, Bradley, oh, this one's over fast. No, oh, nice set there. Nice catch by it's Bradley. a bit of a distraction. He's going low. He's using both his hands and his feet, it looks this like. This is a good effort, Casey. Come on, boy. See you step, boy. Let's go. Oh, there we go! Oh. Oh. Wow! Bradley starts things off with 22 seconds for 11 points. He dared Bart to pull, and he got his wish. Oh boy, that's fast. Uh, well, I didn't do as well as I thought I would, to be honest. But, you know, pulls you and you're gone. <laughs> and he just, he looked at me at one point and I was like, oh, geez, this is gonna hurt if I, yeah, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Now there's 15 points on the line here, which means a great opportunity to separate from each other. It's time to welcome Tay. Oh. <laughs> the humans each have five piles of food in front of them that can be found in a grizzly bear's diet. What even is this garbage? Cantaloupe is worth one point. Carrots, beef is worth three, four points for trout. And today's five-point item is a pile of grasshoppers. I don't like any of this All right, guys, table for one, please, as Tank begins to walk to his setup. Here we go. We're off. The hands are digging in, and now they're trying to get a sense of what they are eating, and more importantly, what they're going to have to digest. Tank is diving right in and taking huge bites. Interesting approach by Bradley Casey, going right for the meat. Keep in mind, three points, and he's trying to get it down. Not working. Oh, boy. Tank's closing in on the finish, and he's eyeballing all those full plates in front of the humans. He better go, though. He better go. He's almost there. Oh, he's, he's going to do it. He, he might. might do it. He might. Three points for Matt. That is it. Game over. Tank devours his whole plate. Tank had a hungry look in his eye today, and he proved it. Did you get anything? Congratulations. That was really good for you. <laughs> I guess the bear diet's not for everybody. Even though Honeybub is much smaller than Bart, she's still massive and much faster than any human in history. World record holder Usain Bolt's top speed is 27 miles per hour. Honeybub's top speed, 35 miles an hour, would have easily won the gold at the Olympics. There she is, preparing for a run, staring down the Grizzly Heights obstacle course. Oh, she gets a little tickle from the grass right there. Oh, look, a little head whip. Big stomp, teaching that grass a lesson. 
defenses, these two humans look to bank as many points as they can before their upcoming battle with human prey. <sighs> Honey bump locking in. Here we go! Bradley very fast over the first log. There's log number two. Blistering pace so far. He barrels through the trees. He's trucking. Look at the slide. Like he's coming into home plate. Nicely done. He's at the tree. That's one point on the board. One more will tie him with Matt. There we go. Two points. We're tied up. But Bradley's looking for more. Great pace. Three points. There's the lead. Oh, man. This guy might ring the bell. Approaching the four-point mark. Four points! Time is up, but Bradley with an incredible run. Being chased by a honey bump really gives you that extra boost of confidence and uh, explosion to get over that first log. I think this is the first time I feel really confident in my performance, so I'm ready for the final challenge. That's what I'm thinking. This is it. Let's go. You ready? You battled these bears all day, but you've never come face to face with a grizzly until now. You will be going face to face with Bart, and the only thing stopping his assault is a thin layer of steel. Here comes Bart. All right, Bart, me and you, bud. Pretty <laughs> chop my fingers off. Better figure out a strategy fast, I'll tell you that. Hey there, bud. All right, here we go. He's on his hind legs, look at that. Bradley's got all his weight laying flat against the cage. He's trying to resist Bart's crushing power. Oh, here we go, there's a uh, big push. He might, he might, he might be ticked off ball. now, can he do it? Uh, Hands on the steel ball, legs uh, moving. Now he puts the legs back even more. Uh, oh, big push by Bart, this could be it. the movement of the ball that extends the fight. Let's go! Bort looks stunned that Bradley's not in the crater. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I don't think Bort was prepared for Bradley to put up this much of a fight. <sighs> he just needs a few more seconds. There it is! 40 seconds, unreal. He's officially ripped this win away from Matt, and now he's taking a shot uh, as a superhuman leader, Bort. One big strike uh -oh. for Bort right now, and this game's over. There it is. Uh -oh. There it is. Eight seconds, the highest score in human prey all season, and he has unbelievably somehow broken into the superhuman showdown. Wow! I gave that everything I possibly could to make sure I won. Center of balance, keeping steady, keeping strong, not letting that fear of having that giant animal right next to me get to me. That's, it's so cool to have such that raw power just right there in your face. So having Bart that close was probably one of the highlights of my life so far. Bradley, congrats. All right, Bradley, you're now on the man versus bear leaderboard. And you made it into the superhuman showdown. It's a good spot to be. That's the best spot to be. After taking the last spot from Justin, you'll face off with Chrissy and Bruce for the superhuman showdown. It's gonna be an epic battle, and I gotta tell you, you are a worthy competitor. Until then, soak up the wind, Rebel. Time to leave the mountain, go regenerate. I'll be back. Look at this guy. <laughs>